This is Joe Skirto with Spectacular Magazine. And the North Carolina State Wolfpack are set to open up their 2021 season as they host the University of Southern Florida on Thursday. And what are my expectations going into the season? Well, let's just rewind to 2020 real quick. This was a team that went 8-4, and 7-3 in the ACC in an abnormal season. And they paid for it because they had the injury bug. You had no training camp. You had no fully off season. You had no off season workouts. You had no scrimmages. And these players were just thrown in the fire and it resulted in a lot of injuries to a lot of key players here. But the biggest thing, if they can improve the defense, even slightly, it's going to make a massive difference. They were subpar last year. They were ranked 63rd in 128 college football teams that qualified for this statistic. Listen, they gave up 29.2 points a game, a little high. I know it's college football and typically the games are high scoring, but still 29.2 is high. And also they gave up 241.1 total yards. Again, slightly high. If they could just get those numbers down a little, I'm telling you, it's going to take less pressure off this offense who has a quarterback coming back from injury and Devin Leary, make his job easier right? Give him more time to score points. And I simply think he will, because this unit is a veteran unit, not only on defense, but as an entire team, 20 out of their 22 starters from a year ago are back this year and they will be starting. And that is huge. And Tony Gibson, the defensive coordinator has made it known that they're going to simplify this defensive playbook to benefit his players. And I think that's going to be Uh, a big key to their success. They're going to play fast. He's an advocate of playing fast, playing aggressive. And you know who does both of those things really well? It's linebacker Peyton Wilson. Peyton Wilson is an absolute star. I've made it known. He was not 100% healthy last year at all. I mean, maybe 80% at the most, and I could even be wrong there. But he was still fourth in FBS in terms of tackles and first in ACC in terms of tackles per game, which was 10.8. He secured 108 total tackles, three and a half sacks, Two interceptions, all ACC honor. He's going to be in there at 100%. He told the media he hasn't been this healthy since high school. Imagine him now at the collegiate level, and he's been ripping it up, not even being healthy. We're going to be seeing him on Sundays. And you don't only get his play consistently now. You're going to get his leadership, and leadership is going to be huge. So if this defense can, let's say, go down to maybe 30, 35th out of these 128 defensive teams that qualified, We're going to witness a very, very good season for North Carolina State. I have a lot of confidence in this team. I think they could be a sleeper. And a few more wins will include a better bowl game and maybe having the possibility of competing for an ACC championship hosted in Charlotte, North Carolina on December 4th. That is the goal. So it all starts on Thursday. And my expectations are the defense is going to be very, very improved.